Alright, what is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, we're kind of doing a series here. So the series is going to be more directed towards uh, strongman athletes. And we're going to break up certain body parts uh, and give you guys some of our top exercises per uh, body part or muscle group. So we're going to start off with first just uh, talking about what makes a good strongman uh, athlete. And when it comes down to it, we look at you know competing and what separates uh, the, the good from the best is gonna be that they have a killer uh, overhead press, awesome at deadlifting, and then there's always gonna be some sort of moving event, so they need to be able to move uh, typically very heavy weight as quickly as possible. And then there's always gonna be some sort of odd object, right? But when it comes to it, when we look at those facets, we have to break down and dissect what movements are gonna be the best uh, to help you know, create the strongest and best strongman athlete. So for this segment today, we're gonna to be focusing on the upper back, okay? Like by far, one of the most valuable assets to a strongman uh, is gonna be having a really strong upper back. And I'll say even just a, a back in general, but today we're focusing primarily on that upper back and we'll cover uh, some of the other sections later on with other videos. So let's just get right to the first exercise, uh, which is going to be a flexion row. Now, if you've been following the channel for some time, I've put a ton of videos out on different row variations. And I think that you should be doing rows no matter what, okay? Whether it's a barbell row, a dumbbell row, or any sort of row variation, you need to be having that movement pattern in your programming. But for strongman specifically, I really love doing flexion rows. I learned these uh, when I was training with Dr. Mike Isertel from RP Strength. Uh, and the reason I love these so much is because it puts us in that rounded over position and we're strengthening all those muscles uh, that are involved with rounding over. So we're really hitting uh, the mid and the upper back like crazy. If you haven't done these guys, you're gonna be getting the craziest, most gnarly pump, especially in the middle of your back, your erectors, all the way to your upper back. Uh, and that's why I love it so much. Just a great bang for your buck exercise. And when you look at strongman athletes, especially when we're doing sandbags, we're doing uh, stone loads, we're doing log lifts, any of that stuff, we're always in that rounded over position. And like I said, strongman, so we're using really heavy weight. Uh, so throwing these into your programming would be awesome uh, at any point, but I love doing them for hypertrophy blocks uh, because we're, we're prepping those muscles to when we finally get to event specific training that we built that base doing a ton of volume and we can then execute the strength portion uh, using those implements and comp weights that we need. So hands down, flexion rows are awesome, but make sure you guys are also uh, rowing. And one of the, the last things I'll say before we move on to the next exercise is flexion rows are great because anybody can do them. So if you're worried about, oh, I don't have a log or I don't have strongman equipment or anything like that, you can do these in a commercial gym. All you need is a barbell. So that's why I think, you know, it's just such a, a well-rounded uh, exercise that everybody can do it. So let's get over to the next exercise now. All right, coming in hot, exercise number two. So we're trying to pick some more unique exercises. Like I said, we're trying to be more specific to strongman. So this is gonna fall along with another row variation, but it's gonna be a double dumbbell row, which are awesome. So if you haven't done these before, I highly recommend them. Just taking two dumbbells, getting into that bent over position, and then you're gonna row at the same time, okay? So we're working that, that uh, the back completely, and honestly, a little bit of the posterior chain, but mostly you're gonna be the back with this. And what we're gonna do though, you pay attention, you guys, you guys listening, pay attention to this. I know there's noise in the background, but you're focusing on getting a big ass back. So with that being said, you're gonna throw some fat grips on there. What? Yes. Put on some fat grips onto those handles. So now not only are we working our back, we're working our grip. All right, which is very, very, very important when it comes to strongman training. Now you may say, I don't have fat grips. Well, you're an idiot. You need to go buy fat grips. And if you do have fat grips, you're awesome. Now, back to the person who's an idiot, it doesn't have them. You guys can wrap those dumbbells with shirts, with towels, whatever you can to make them a fatter and just a harder grip, all right? So I highly recommend when you're doing, uh, like once again, a hypertrophy block or even maybe getting into a strength block and you wanna get more specific to strongman, you wanna do best bang for your buck exercises when you're doing your dumbbell rows, throw on some fat grips or something to change that grip up. 
to make it more challenging and taxing. Uh, and that's gonna help you become a better strongman athlete. All right, number three, coming at you with another row variation. Bet you could have never guessed it, row variation. Uh, Cause honestly, yeah, like rows are where it's at if you guys are trying to put on some serious mass uh, and strength to your mid and upper back. So this one is gonna be not only one of the greatest people ever to live in the fitness and strength community, but it's gonna be the Meadows Row, okay? So name for John Meadows, rest in peace, love that guy. Uh, he's taught me a lot and I've learned a lot, I'm sure you have too. So when doing the Meadows Rows guy, you're gonna need to have uh, a landmine set up and a barbell, okay? And then we're gonna load that barbell up with weight and we're gonna do rows. Now, I typically like to keep this in the higher rep range. I would say eight minimally. So eight would be the lowest I would go with these. And I'd probably keep it anywhere from that 12 to 14 rep range uh, when doing these Meadows rows. So, uh, highly recommend doing these uh, just to build that back strength and as well we get the added benefit of having a fat uh, grip basically because using the the collar end of the barbell which is going to make your grip harder to use uh, if you have really long straps you can also use straps on these but and you're still actually working your grip even though you have straps on uh, but it's just going to simulate that grip training and that added bonus that we can get by doing these meadows rows so uh, if you haven't tried them, highly recommend it. Throw these in there uh, to, your, to your arsenal of row variations and that will definitely help you become a better strongman athlete. Now getting away from the rows, I right, coming at you with exercise number four is gonna be log rolls. All right, you're like, what, log rolls? Kinda sounds like pizza rolls, I love pizza rolls. You guys like pizza rolls? But no, log rolls are even better because it's more specific to strongman than pizza rolls. Although strongman probably do eat pizza rolls. Boom, we're getting this video to eight minutes no matter what. So, log roll, the only downside of having uh, this in your programming is you're gonna need a log. So, sorry guys, you don't have a log, this doesn't pertain to you, but if you do have a log that you can use, basically what we're gonna work here is just that mid portion of a log clean and press, which is gonna be the rolling, uh, so the pick to your lap, rolling it up to your shoulders, and then rolling it back down. If you wanna bring it to the ground, you can. If you wanna just put it back in your lap, I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. But I think if we're doing, let's say four sets of anywhere from six to eight reps, higher volume, you're gonna be working one technical efficiency in the log, and a lot of you guys can probably use that to get better for the implement training. Uh, and then secondly, we are now kind of turning it into somewhat of a compound exercise, you know, multi-joint, multi-muscle. Uh, but what I love about it is that roll, and just, if you're doing it correctly, it's gonna torch your mid and upper back, right? Similar to the flexion row. So I gave you guys the flexion row, which was tip number one, or exercise number one that you should be doing, which is gonna hit those erectors and upper back. But really what that's gonna mimic and strengthen those muscles is gonna be from the log roll. So. Guys, if you got that log, don't just look at it as, oh, clean and press event training. You can also use that to get an adequate amount of volume in to really grow and strengthen your back. All right, now the last and final exercise if you're trying to increase that size and strength of your back, specifically for strongman, is gonna be some sort of either wide grip pull down or pull up. Okay, some of you guys don't get a great stimulus from pull-ups. Um, I'm actually kind of one of those guys, so I prefer doing pull-downs, but if you get a great stimulus from uh, doing pull-ups, go wide grip and you can do those as well. So the way I like to think about it too, when we're going wide, okay, typically uh, the wider the grip, it's gonna simulate doing something like a big stone hug or even a, a sandbag. When you guys watch uh, people compete in strongman, those bags are really long. So it takes a lot of strength being outside of that, that, uh, that wingspan to be able to pick up those implements and be able to load or to run with them, whatever it is. So don't neglect uh, doing some sort of wide grip variations, okay? Because if you're in a, a strongman competition, chances are you are gonna be grabbing something that's gonna be wider and outside of your body, all right? So, uh, if we're talking pull downs, I like three to four sets anywhere in that 12 to 15 rep range. Uh, if you guys have mag grips, they are awesome because you not only are getting that wide uh, grip, you're also getting grip strength as well, okay? If you don't, normal pull down bar is fine. And then we have pull ups, which you're just gonna pick a wide grip. Say you're a big guy and you're like, dude, I suck at, at pull ups. That's okay. Either have someone assist you, right, with their hands, 
or use a band, or honestly, if you're in a commercial gym, you can use the assisted pull-up machine. I love that thing, and that's actually where I get the best stimulus when it comes to pull-ups, because I can pick the appropriate weight for it to help give me that assistance up and down, and I can keep that really wide grip, so we're really focusing on growing and strengthening that back. So. That's pretty much all I have for you guys, right? We're trying to put this series together for you so that we can help get uh, you strong men out there even stronger and give you guys some different exercises. Think about they're gonna be more specific to strong man training, okay? There's a ton of staple exercises that if you've been following this channel, you know what they are, okay? I don't have to ramble on about them, but we wanted to pick some different things uh, that we think you can add to your arsenal and make you a better athlete, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're kind of sitting there and you're like, Joe, this all sounds great, but it's just not clicking. I don't know where to throw this stuff in or how to do it. Well, cool beans, guys. The best news is that we have a strongman template on zastrength.net that you can purchase and you can plug and play. And it's all systematically broken down. We use auto regulation to help with your fatigue management and all of that good stuff. So I highly recommend you purchase that program, super cheap. But if not, and you guys are using your noggin, you can throw in these exercises where you see them fit for your programming and training. So that's all we got today. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, be a lean, mean strength machine. See you next time. Peace. Thank you.